Hi, I'm Ian Innes. I'm an ex-ski racer turned steep skier and we're here with Fall Line Magazine on Ben Nevis today. We've got Andy Townsend, British mountain guide who works at Glenmore Lodge. I'll pass over to you. Hey, great. Thanks, Ian. Yep, we're here on a beautiful spring day to go and sample some of Scotland's finest steep skiing on the north face of Ben Nevis. We're going to go and look at some of the techniques that you can use to help you access these steep lines and then go out and explore and enjoy the best steep skiing Scotland has to offer. Okay, and let's just quickly sort some kit and then we'll get out and have an adventure. The trick today is to go with enough equipment that we can cope with any situation that comes up. You're going to go with your lightweight skis. I'm going to favour something a little bit heavier to help with my skiing. We're definitely going to need to take a rope. I brought three to choose from. So I've got a climbing rope, which is a little bit thicker and more dynamic. I've got a skinnier ski touring rope, but I think today we're going to favour a very lightweight Spectra Dyneema abseil line because that will just make your bags a bit lighter. You'll definitely need to have a couple of carabiners to help with that access points today. Uh, map and compass, we always need to know where we're going. I've got a shovel, my probe and my avalanche transceiver which I'm going to put on my body now. It's the spring snow is going to be firm, so axe and crampons are essential. And because it's late season, we can expect some rocks and ice falling in the corries as the day heats up. So bring bring your helmet as well. Um, and we'll get all that into our bags. So before we leave the car park, it's really important that we check that the transceivers are in their holsters or pockets properly, switched on, and I've got plenty of battery life. One of the key things is to make sure that your electrical devices are well away from your transceivers. At least 30 to 50 centimetres is ideal, or you risk electrical interference. On your journey to the snow, it's important that you're considering three things. You're considering the weather. Is the wind and the temperature doing what was forecast? Has the wind speed increased and is it now blowing snow around? Has the temperature risen and started to make the snow warm and wet? You need to look at the snow. Is the snow drifting into places or aspects that you weren't expecting from the information on the forecast? Is it brittle underfoot? Is it granular, noisy, quiet? All of these are going to affect the snow stability. FatMap offers a range of terrain analysis tools which can be used during the planning and approach stages. Consider drawing the route you're planning or dropping waypoints to assist with navigation. Cross-reference the gradient and slope aspect information in the app with the Scottish Avalanche Information Service reports to assist with evaluating snowpack and avalanche conditions on the hill. And most important, you need to consider your teammates, your skiing partners. Are they fit? Are they healthy? Are they dealing with a niggly little injury? Is somebody pushing an agenda that will affect the decisions that you will make on the hill? When planning your day, identify a few key places you will pass through during the approach. At these locations, you should consider three things to help make a decision whether to continue or adjust plans. First, the avalanche, snow and weather conditions. Second, how you and your team are feeling. Third, terrain, slope angle and exposure to hazard. OK, we've reached the bottom of number four gully on Ben Nevis. And this is one of the key places we identified where we would have to make a decision. Ian and I have discussed the weather, the snow, and how we're both feeling, and we've decided to continue. We are concerned about the cornice above the top and some of the little stones in here that indicate rockfall. So we're gonna move quickly and efficiently through this gully. Okay? Okay, I thought we'd have a nice ski in this gully, but 
the rocks and the chalk stone to prevent that from skiable. So I'm going to have to transition from boots back to skis and ski back the way I've come. First thing I want to do is what I can is to put in a proper boot platform because I need to stand here in comfort and put my skis on properly. Now this is harder snow then I'd have to use the axe and I can cut and score and basically make myself a nice platform and it is worth taking a few minutes here to make a decent platform it will speed up the actual transition and it won't stress you out as much there we go I don't need to make it as long as the skis because I'm going to dig the skis in at the back put my poles in the snow clamp my axe and I'm going to take my bag off being careful to not let go of anything I'm going to use my axe to anchor my rucksack now I can start to take my skis off and the first thing I'm going to do is to put one of them in the snow so it acts as a nice handhold for me now I've booted up and my boots are in they're tightened up ready for ski mode all I have to do is flick over the levers at the back to go from walk mode to ski mode I'm going to take my downhill ski and jab it into the snow I'm going to take my uphill ski and plant it in the snow below it now that means that ski won't move and it makes it really easy for me to click into it replace the top ski and just move that one out the snow and jab it in so it's a nice platform next take the other ski jab it back into the hole you made before and step into it retrieve my rucksack stow the axe where it's handy to cut back to later goggles on get ready to ski, I just need to make sure I take that one out and I'm ready to go